Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many Java developers. Our viewer asks, how can I change interface implementations at runtime using Spring? This is a crucial topic for those who need flexibility in their applications. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. As a Java developer, you may often need to switch between different implementations of an interface at runtime. This can be achieved using a helper object that maps user input to the appropriate implementation. In Spring, you can define this helper as a beam and inject it wherever needed. Here's an example of how to set this up in your class. Now let's implement the helper. Initially, you might think of returning new instances of your implementations directly. However, this approach has a significant flaw. The instances won't be managed by the Spring container. A better approach is to inject each implementation into the helper. However, this can lead to a less maintainable solution. Instead, consider using the application context to retrieve beans dynamically. Alternatively, you can use the service locator factory bean to create a more structured solution. This allows you to define a service locator interface for your implementations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this approach, we can change interface implementations at runtime with minimal configuration. First, we create an enum to map keys to bean names. Next, we define a factory class that auto-wires all implementations of a common interface. This allows us to retrieve the correct implementation based on the bean name. We also create a helper class that uses the factory to get the right implementation based on a key. This keeps our code clean and avoids lengthy conditionals. This method has several advantages. It simplifies implementation selection, allows easy addition of new implementations, and lets you customize bean names. To give custom names to beans, use the value attribute in annotations like at component or at service. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To change interface implementations at runtime in Spring, you can use dependency injection with qualifiers. First, define your interface and implement it in a class. Then, inject an instance of the interface using the at inject annotation. In your method, convert input into a qualifier and select the appropriate implementation using the injected instance. This allows you to dynamically choose which implementation to use based on the input.
Currently, Spring does not fully support this feature, but it's planned for future versions. If you want to stick with Spring now, consider using the Service Locator Factory Beam as a solution. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To change interface implementations at runtime in Spring, you can name your beams when declaring them. This allows your helper to request the appropriate beam from the application context based on its type. The application context can create new instances or reuse existing ones based on the bean's scope. This way, you can leverage the full functionality of Spring. For example, you can create a helper class that retrieves the right implementation of an interface using a key. Here's a simple code snippet to illustrate this. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.